G'day guys, I'm here down at the beach. Wow, this light is really, really bright. Let's see how we go. I've set up the camera on my neck. We've got this Pen SSF 950. We've got the Pen Prevail. We've got our main braid, our swivel. We've got our sinker and our slider running along the trace. We've got an 8A Gamagatsu circle hook with a uh, yellow tail popped in. All right, let's go. I'm just trying to see if I'm coming up in that shot. So we're waiting for this to buckle over and start screaming off. We've got some pickers in the hole, so we'll see what happens. Just give it a bit of a tighten. Yeah, we've got some pickers. Something's breathing on it, which is always a good sign. Yeah, they're bouncing it. Here we go, here we go. Feels, feels like a tailor. We might have a, yeah, I think we've got a tailor on this one. Yeah. Oh, caught some bait anyway. Yeah, we've got some solid head rattles, so I'm guessing that they're tailor. Yeah, I can see him splashing on the water. Oh, what a solid tailor. Absolutely stonker of a tailor. Let's just turn that off and let's turn it back on. How's that for a stonker of a tailor? Absolute beast. Well, let's turn him around this way. Get a better look at him. Check that out. What a beauty. Well, we'll let him go anyway. We've got enough bait. So, very, very nice. Okay, let's let him go. The cheeky bastard splashing me. And off he goes. What a beast. Woo! Woo! And that's just one of the bycatches. That's just one of the bycatches of catching, trying to chase Jewies off the beach. Awesome, let's keep going, boom. Okay, so if you've been skimming through the video, Basically what we've got is we've got a swivel onto our leader, which is 30 pound today. The star sink is uh, sliding up on up and down on the um, on the leader. Let's plunk a headpiece on one of my favorite baits though. Let's see what we can get. It's about five past 10. We got that nice tailor, so that was all right. But the aim of the game is to uh, to catch either a mulloway or a gummy shark. And we'll fish till about 11 o'clock. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're getting a bite now. We've got that head on out there. But what we really want is we want the rod to buckle over and just run and that circle hook will just do its job and just set itself.
we had, we just had an absolute screamer of a run. An absolute screamer. Um, I, re I reckon it's ripped the bait off. Let's have a quick look. Absolutely spewing. That, that was the Dewey. The rod just buckled over and it just ripped the bait off. Just as I thought, bait's been ripped off. Absolutely spewing. Let's get another one on. Let's get him out again, see what happens. Let's see how we go from there. And look guys, if you like what you're watching, feel free to hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, putting out more content for you guys. It really helps out the channel. There's definitely some bigger fish just moved in. They're either gummy sharks or they're, uh, or they're jewies. So let's just see if we can convert something and get something for the camera. And I'm also gonna do some mulloway sessions out of the boat for my channel as well. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, give this video a like if you like what you're watching. Let's try to get a mull away. And if we do get one, we'll be letting him go because I don't really feel like cleaning a fish at midnight. Something might be breathing on it. Yeah, something is breathing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I think this might be a rubbish fish. Here we go, here we go. It's about to go. It's going. I knew we'd get that bite on camera. He might have baited me. What I'm going to do, I think it's baited me, but just in case I've still got a speck of bait, I'm going to get another bait ready so that we can change it very, very quickly and cast it straight back out. And that will be our next piece of bait. All right, let's get it in. Let's reset. I reckon this bait's gone. Let's have a look. Yeah, it feels like it's gone. Gone, just as I thought. Let's get that bait out again. Let's see if we can convert that puppy. Just set that drag tight enough to set the hook, but tight enough to give it some running time. Okay, so the most important thing about fishing on the beach is being here at the right time. There's more wrong times to fish on a beach than what there is right times. And I'm not gonna say that tides are the main thing. I have caught fish bang on high tide, bang on low tide, but it's further down the list of what's really important to me. 
I basically know there's usually a bite time through summer on the beach between, you know, eight till, eight till midnight. I generally don't stay much longer than that because it's just too much of a hard trek. But anyway, let's just keep the cameras rolling. And I think something's breathing on it again right now. Let's play the waiting game. These GoPro batteries really uh, suck the juice really, really fast. So I'm gonna have to preserve the batteries a little bit. I don't wanna have to go changing everything. Generally, if it's a bigger mulloway, when they hit it, it's normally a slow bend and then it just screams off. If we haven't already um, explained in the video, basically I'm using 50 pound braid the outfit's not that expensive, it's a, I think these SSM 950s or whatever they are, these pen reels, they're only about 50 or 60 bucks. You get them at any BCF, uh, pen prevail, they're about 200 bucks. And uh, what we've got is, um, we've got the braid, we've got, I think we've got 30 pound litre, not too fussy on that. Uh, and we've got the sinker sliding on the, tra on the actual litre, on the trace. So between the swivel and the hook, is where the sinker's running. So I had that half yellow tail out there and nothing touched it. So I went back to a fillet and let's just see what, where we go to from there. But uh, pretty strange. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 10.42 p.m. Okay. Okay guys, so it looks like that my little window's about to finish. It's 20 past 11. I'll give it till 11.30. That way I'm out of here, you know, before midnight type of thing. That bite time I was thinking would, would have been around 9.30, 10 o'clock. And that's when we're getting all the bites. We've got that tail around that time as well. So uh, we haven't had a bite for about 45 minutes now. Haven't lost a bait. Nothing's been touched. And that just shows that there's a lot more incorrect times to be fishing the beach than what there is correct times to be fishing the beach. So I generally give my sessions about four hours and uh, then I wrap things up. Otherwise, you just knock yourself about too much and you end up being tired and you've got to clean your gear up and all that sort of stuff. So basically speaking, uh, we'll give it another 10 minutes, 11.30, we'll wrap things up and we'll go from there. And if you like what you've been watching, hit that subscribe button and, you know, follow me. Follow me everywhere, TikTok, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. Yeah, we'll just see what happens, I guess. What can you do? <laughs> Something's just toying with it there. Hey Siri, what's the time? 